People generally agree on what makes an animal adorable. And there's a good reason for that. When faced with adorable things, our brains release a chemical called dopamine that makes us feel happy. While we can't travel and explore everything that nature has to offer right now, we've rounded up the cutest animals in the world to give you that much needed dopamine hit. Whether it's due to a disproportionately large round head or large eyes that capture the heart, these 10 animals take full advantage on what makes to be adorable. Before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please like this video and hit the notification bell for updates. Let's go! Number 10, Dogs. In general, almost all baby animals are considered cute by people, which is one of the ways they have been domesticated over the years. Taking a look at one of many species, Canis lupus familiaris, otherwise known as the domesticated dog, evolved to survive by passing down the genes that make them cute. Dogs took full advantage of humanity's need to love cute things by ensuring their offspring had all the traits we appreciate. They are small and their head is large relative to their body, and their eyes are large relative to their head. Number 9, Slow Loris. If you've ever seen those plush toys with impossibly large eyes, that's one of the ways. Toy manufacturers use our innate desire for cuteness to entice a purchase. One of the animals that don't need any help in that area is the Slow Loris. There are multiple Slow Loris species, but they all share some of the same key features, which we find to be universally adorable. The most prominent of them is their enlarged eyes, which weren't evolved to make them desirable to humans. Rather they are an adaptation to their nocturnal lifestyle. Slow lorises have a small snout and nose and enlarged eyes. As a result, most people who see them consider them to be cute. But their cuteness should not entice anyone to approach these tiny primates. The bite of a slow loris is highly toxic, which is rare among mammals. It is derived from licking a sexual gland on their arm, which secretes a liquid that combines with their saliva to become toxic. They spread this substance on their fur. As a deterrence to predators, slow lorises are cute, but they're more of a look but don't touch kind of species. Number 8, Meerkats. Meerkats are small mongooses native to southern Africa, and they are some of the cutest social animals on the planet. They live in large packs of up to 30 individuals and have a quirky survival instinct. It calls for one or more meerkats in a group to sit or stand on their hind legs outside their burrow to watch for predators. This gives them their well-known stance. That can be seen in zoos around the world, but for most people, it's not a survival instinct, it's just cute behavior. In reality, it's anything but cute as they are on constant alert for predatory birds and other threats. A typical meerkat has a broad head, enlarged eyes, small outer ears, and a pointed snout. While the adults have their appeal, meerkat babies are disturbingly cute, more than most baby animals. Number 7, Koalas. Koala bears are cute and they're cuddly. It's generally accepted that these marsupials, endemic to Australia, are considered cute by most people. Still, koalas are another animal that is cute but should be avoided. This is due to their sharp teeth and claws, which they are more than ready to use if they feel threatened. One of the main features we find adorable in koalas is their large, round heads and small features. Other aspects, like the fact that they sleep for 20 hours a day, move slowly, and have fuzzy ears don't hurt their widespread appeal. Number 6, Flapjack and Dumbo Octopodes. In many cases, animals are cute to humans due to our interactions with them. Over tens of thousands of years of evolution. Other times, their cuteness is entirely coincidental. Such the case in a species of flapjack octopus, which is, of all things, adorable. The species was discovered in 2015, and it almost looks like a ghost from Pac-Man. They are bright pink, have stubby tentacles, and large eyes. They are abyssal creatures, which means they evolved to survive in the deep sea on the ocean floor, so their cuteness has nothing to do with human appreciation, though it's certainly a perk. While they aren't the only species of flapjack octopus in the ocean, their scientific name has been proposed as Opisthotithus adorabilis, which seems fitting. Diminutive flapjack octopuses aren't the only species of octopus that people consider to be cute. The so-called Dumbo octopus shares similar traits but has large flaps that look like the large ears of the Disney character. 
Speaking of Disney characters, the adorable little octopus, Pearl, from Finding Nemo, was based on Opisthotithus californiana, another species of flapjack octopus. Though she was arguably cuter than the real thing. Number 5, Piglets. Pigs are an interesting animal for this list due to the fact that a piglet is cute. A piglet have short snouts with enlarged noses, large heads and eyes. Compared to the rest of their bodies, and they have a rounded face. That fact has been a problem in the pet trade, as people will happily adopt a piglet. But when that animal matures, it goes from being a small cute animal to a massive beast. Best suited for bacon. Unlike other animals on this list, the longer a pig is around humans. The less desirable in terms of cuteness they become. This has long been a problem. In the so-called teacup pig pet trade, as anyone who owned one will know. They lose the cuteness when they get huge. Number 4, Fennec Foxes. The Fennec Fox is a small species of fox native to the Sahara Desert and the Sinai Peninsula. They are highly adapted to their desert environment. Thanks in large part to their ears. In mammals, the larger the ears. The more capable they are at dissipating heat. Which is the main reason the African elephant has the largest ears in the world. For the Fennec Fox, their ears aren't the only adaptations that make it possible for them. To live in the desert. Their kidneys and fur coat are likewise adapted to make it possible. To survive in a hot water poor environment. When it comes to cuteness where humans are concerned, they are prized by people. For their massive ears, which are the largest ear to body ration in the canid family. That's an important distinction, as the fennec fox is the world's smallest canid in the world. Fennec foxes have not been domesticated, but they are often sold as exotic pets. This is accomplished through taming after removing pups from their mothers. To hand raise them. Number 3, Red Pandas. In 1825, Frederick Huvier described the red panda, the most handsome mammal in existence. But Seth Meyers described it best, they're like a fox and a raccoon and a bear and a dog. And a cat. They're like every adorable animal in one animal. While it's not a scientific description, anyone who has seen one of these creatures would likely agree with him. Red pandas are considerably smaller than the giant panda. Which makes sense, as they aren't closely related. Their long fuzzy tails are another feature people like, but they are an endangered species. Despite their widespread appeal. Their main threats are habitat loss from competition with. Domestic livestock, deforestation, and human harvesting, both alive and dead. Conservation efforts have been in place since 2008, and the species has recovered. In some areas. Additionally, captive breeding programs. Have been largely successful around the world. Number 2, Sea Otters. Sea otters are some of the cutest animals in the world, and while this has a lot to do with their facial features, their social behavior leads most people in zoos to see them. Sea otters regularly hold one another's hands while they sleep. This serves as a survival mechanism that keeps them together so they don't drift apart. It also mirrors human behavior, which is something we find cute in other species. The sea otter is only concerned with not floating away, but for a human. It's little more than adorable behavior on display. Another interesting behavior of sea otters is that they have a pouch where they keep their favorite rocks, which they use to break open various shellfish. Number 1, Quokkas. Quokka are small marsupials in the same family as kangaroos and wallabies. Native to southwestern Australia. They are widely known worldwide. Due to their unique facial expression, which looks very much like a smile. And this is something humans have spread online in recent years. Quokka are so beloved for their expressions, most people who find them in the wild do exactly what they shouldn't, they take a selfie with them. This has resulted in scores of adorable pictures of people posing with wild animals. But it has also resulted in several bites because well, they're wild animals. That's all. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Watch out for more interesting contents from this channel soon.